Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a discussion video about Mr. Crum and where I think he may have originated from in series. So if you don't know Mr. Crum, he's this skeleton-like spirit entity that first made his appearance in the video game Crash Bandicoot 99X. It was a handheld LCD screen game. It didn't really pop up on anyone's radar really until a couple years ago. And since then, the fandom has been talking about him in Reddit, and he actually got brought back on Crash on the Run. And you can see him now in his new design. So this is Mr. Crumb, and I'm going to explain his canonical backstory, and then I'm going to use what lore we have from the canonical backstory and the information that we know in the series and try and get a educated guess as to how he exists and where he came from. So this is really the only background information that we have on him before Crash on the Run. He had his appearance in Crash on the Run. So lore-wise, you could take it with a grain of salt because technically none of this was ever stated in a game. This was just their original idea. So it says, What is Mr. Crumb's nationality and history? Do you have a concept art of this character? And George, the man who was behind parts of the game, says, Mr. Crumb is a stingy, evil, unsoci unsociable rich man. Before he died of natural causes, he used black magic to awaken supernatural monsters becoming one of them too, probably because he didn't want to leave his treasure to strangers. We never considered a nationality for the character, but Scottish accent, and he says, unfortunately, he doesn't have any concept art. So the main part you want to look at is the first part there where he talks about how he's stingy, evil, and sociable, and that he used black magic to awaken supernatural monsters and become one of them too. Everything else they didn't really think about. And then the concept for Mr. Crumb, pre-putting it into the game on the LCD screen, this is what they wanted him to look like. So it appears originally the only part of Mr. Crumb that survived before him coming back to life was his skull. It looks like his skull is there, and then he has spirit-like hands and a body and a cloak. So the only thing that's intact from Crumb's original body is his skull. So I know this is supplemental material also, and it's technically not in-game, but it was from the official Crash on the Run um, Facebook page, and the blurb describing him says, The only friends Mr. Crumb knows are his treasures. After living a life full of greed... He emerged from beyond the grave to guard his belongings. Mr. Crumb returns 23 years after his original appearance in Crash Bandicoot 99X, reach the road to ruin stage, and try your luck against him and his minions. So, the newly established lore for him pretty much goes with what the interview was, but it takes out a bit. So it says, only friends were his treasures, and after living a full life of greed, he emerged from beyond the grave. So it took out the bit about the black magic, but it's safe to assume that that's still in part his origin, because how else would he come back to life and get in this new body, it seems. So unlike his original design, here he has his skull... But his hands are now bones, and his tail is like the more spirit-like, looks like a, a ghost or a genie. I don't know if the hands themselves are actual bones, or if they're still spirits and they just appear to look like bones. But that's the only main difference, other than him getting a hat and some jewelry. So that's all the lore we have of Mr. Crumb right now. And I want to explain where I think 
he came from in story. And there's actually some lore that we know from other characters that can be implemented into his story. So I'm going to show you a clip from Crash of Bandicoot Warped, the Insane Trilogy opening, a clip from it. So that was showing Uka Uka prior to him getting into his mask. He is a spirit that with dark magic, we know Mojo, Dark Mojo, he was able to live again beyond his normal lifespan. So I think that Mr. Crumb also did a Mojo-like ritual to return to life post-death. So whereas Uka Uka and Aku Aku transferred their souls into masks, I believe Mr. Crumb transferred his soul into the only remaining portion of his body, which was his skull. And when he put his soul in his skull via Dark Mojo, he was reborn as the spiritual creature we see him now. But that's not all. I think that there's more that ties Mr. Crumb to Cortex and Uka Uka. So first off, we just discussed how Mojo Mutation could have brought him back. And secondly, I'm going to show you his minions, Mr. Crumb's minions when you battle him. Mr. Crumb is able to summon the Mummy Lab Assistants. So... He has the ability to use Dr. Cortex and Uka Uka's minions as his own. Which to me means that Mr. Crumb is in cahoots with Cortex and Uka Uka. Like he's one of their generals now. But I know some of you are saying, oh, look, it's just Halloween themed and he's a ghost so he has mummies. To which I say this. We have seen... One of Mr. Crumb's cronies, Grumbler. And Grumbler himself has little miniature mummies of his own that he uses to attack. So they already have little mummy minions that were from the same game that Mr. Crumb originated in. So why didn't they just have the little Grumbler guys be summoned by Mr. Crumb? Why is it? that we have the lab assistant mummies. I think that's a point for another in the favor of Crumb is in cahoots with Cortex. So that's pretty much the entire theory. I think that Mr. Crumb was brought back to life through the same Dark Mojo experiments that Aku Aku and Uka Uka did to prolong their lives. But there's one more thing that I want to touch up on that doesn't have anything to do with that theory. It's just something interesting that I noticed while looking up Mr. Crumb information. If you look at Mr. Crumb's blingin' jewel, jewelry, his, uh, his rings there, he has a green one, which is Nitro. He has a red one, which is Inferno. A blue one, which is Frosty. And a purple one, which is Oxide. Like I said, that doesn't really enforce anything in the theory that I've been saying. I just thought that was a really neat Easter egg. So that's the end of the video. I believe that Crumb is also a spirit entity similar to the masks. Instead of using a wooden mask, he used his skull. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a like, a comment, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.